about echolocation from a problem-solving standpoint? What do you need? I've got to make the sound, number one. Number two, I've got to transmit it. I've got to get it out into the environment. All right, now I've got echoes coming back. Those have to be received, but that's not enough. I've got to process them. I've got to take that incoming information and turn it into something that I can actually use and understand. Making the sound, transmitting it, receiving it, and processing it are necessary elements of echolocation. And if you take away any one of them, let's say we take away transmission, it doesn't matter if you have the other three, you lose the system as a whole. The challenge of building a complete system grows when the four phases of echolocation are broken down into their specific components. For to create the entire mechanism, each of the hundreds of individual parts required must be integrated and fully functional simultaneously. So you've got all these different components for the sonar, and how does the dolphin know how to use this equipment? That's where instinct comes in. They not only got the hardware, but they got the owner's manual along with it. Instinct is a set of instructions on how to use the equipment, and it has to know that from the second it's born. All of this stuff happens automatically, and it's, it's perfectly set up. It, it's, it's like you look at it and you say, of course, that's the way it's supposed to work. So it's pretty hard to believe that this all happened by chance and natural selection, especially when each individual part is meaningless without the whole. As a creative agent, natural selection is severely limited. By definition, the process uses random genetic mutations to slowly build or modify organisms through trial and error and small, gradual steps. Each incremental change is made blindly, without any sense of an ultimate purpose or objective. What it cannot do is visualize a distant functional endpoint and say, well, I'll need this part, and I'll need this part, and I'll need this part. Any evolutionary process you consider, any materialistic process you can consider, has no foresight. It can't see five years, five seconds, five milliseconds into the future. For that, you need a mind. Only minds, only intellect, only a conscious, purposeful intelligence has the ability to say, that's my target, how can I hit it? What would I need to bring together to do that? That's what we do, that's what designers do, that's what minds and intellects do. Undirected physical processes can't do that. This is rational, it's reasonable. It's taking the evidence and saying, what's the best explanation for what I see? <laughs>